Guys, I hope you all had a great week and today I will be giving you a lesson which is a bit more um, precise on posture and more vocal exercises. So let's just do a recap on the previous two videos that I've done for you guys. First video was more of an introduction to opera, as I said, soprano and all those stuff. If you don't know, they can go check that again. It'll, it'll help you know what kind of voice or kind of hierarchy you stand. I also gave you tips on your, vo like your vocals. It's very important that you have a good vocal and you can protect it with, all, with everything you've got because it's important. Your vocal is very delicate and you have to take care of it. Screaming is a no. It irritates the voice. It's not very good. Um, and then there's like all kind of um, oily food, like fries. You want to avoid that as much as possible, including all cold stuffs, um, ice cream, cold drinks, all those kind of stuff. Um, also, if you can, um, this is kind it's not necessary, but um, it, it's crucial. Uh, if you can stay away from coffee, like caffeine, that's, that's good, because caffeine came when you take it. The femme or like whatever's in your voice, it stays longer, so when you sing, that's kind of the reason every time someone who has coffee, and then they just go for a singing, or whatever, they tend to cough, or kind of like clear the throat, as I said, clearing your throat, like, <coughs> is wrong. It just makes your, it just makes your vocal cords even more um, distorted. And it also clashes. So that's not very good, you don't want to clash your voice. The previous video, I spoke about posture, I spoke about why you have to sit straight, I told you that if you slouch, you're kind of blocking the oxygen from entering your lungs. So today, let's begin with today's lessons. Um, so, the first thing I want to say is that when you enter a classroom, um, sorry, not classroom, when you enter your vocal uh, training room or you're going to practice, um, it's important that I like to, personally, I just like to start by drinking water and um, just taking a moment of calming my mind, you know, just focusing on music and forgetting about everything else. I like to kind of like make my body feel free. So I've noticed a lot of people who kind of like put their shoulders tense, they kind of like do that or they, I don't know, it's just very tense. So you want to loosen up your body. Just like feel free, relax every muscle in your body so you can perform better, sing better, feel better. And also another important thing that I have to point, uh, point out is you want to keep a little distance between your legs. You don't want them to be like literally touching each other. That kind of tense your body up, which isn't what you want. So you want to keep like at least like this much of distance is quite necessary. Not too much, just a proper decent amount. That would be very good for your vocal. It would just feel very free. Um, and then, and also another thing that I like to say is um, when you stand, it's best when you come for rehearsals to not wear high heels or come in something very comfy. Always come, like especially when you go for rehearsals, practice, or you're gonna practice by yourself in your room. It's best if you don't wear any high heels or you know you have some home slippers that has heels. As long as anything that doesn't have heels, you're good. Just don't wear heels. You can wear it in a performance day, but for the current, when you wear heels, if you might not know this, but it actually changes your vocal. Because when you're taller, your vocal kind of beats a little different. That's why um, it's different. Like when you when you stand, when you're with and without your um, heels, your voice uh, your voice uh, kind of changes. So it's best to just Stay without heels. It's also it, it's like many reasons there. One of the top reasons is it pains your life, but you don't want to do that. We are now going to go into the vocal um, exercises. Um, this e these are what I'm going to give you now are kind of like the mandatory ones that you want to do. It's seriously important, regardless. Like no matter what songs you're doing, some songs have different methods, um, different vocal ex exercises. First is. You can hold the last note as long as possible. That kind of um, improves your timing of taking the longer note. That's good. And that's number one. Number two, I want to do this. As I said before, it's you, you can use your mind kind of thinking for this. You want to think you're drinking uh, like a Coke or something. Just imagine that you have a straw and you're going to put it in your mouth and you do, so when you do, 
you're giving more space here. You're giving space here, which is important because that gives, um, it makes your voice clear. It also gives more power to your voice. And also, for, uh, remember, your stomach is very, very, very important. Never, ever breathe from your throat, ever. I mean, from your chest. It's, it's not good. It doesn't give you much oxygen to take in than your stomach would. So um, I'm going to show you the difference as I did in the previous videos, but um, it's important that you do it. Um, it'll help you understand the difference. So this is um, me doing with air, like letting it out. It's going to sound like that is with the air going out. And now I'm going to show you with the air going in. It's not going to sound very pretty. It's okay. It's never going to. That will never sound pretty or angelic. Don't worry. So we're going to do that in a higher note. So that's going to be. So when I take my breath in, I'm also taking the note with me. So I don't do that we do that you're kind of already taking enough air and you can't do that note it's all right i didn't get in the first try just keep trying you'll get it and it'll be, it will never sound pretty so don't worry um the second is going to be the mouth where it's kind of like the proper as i said like that um this is best for clearing your throat warming it warming it up kind of like you know waking it up and that's important to do so we're going to do it so it's going to be like I held that note quite long, which is important because when you hold that note long, you are, it kind of improves, it helps you improve making longer notes, um, holding a line, this is good, best for that. And now we're going to do a easy little uh, tune, we're going to do with C, um, it's a bubble, so it's, it's good, and there are some three that I like to do, C, pre, and full. I will give you the reasons for three of them, why I do three of them in just a moment. So we're going to start with C, and we're going to do a very simple kind of um, a tune, which is going to sound like, I will go from the um, lowest to the highest, and you can do it with me. So the majority is always Italian, French, and German. Tells probably this one. Okay, so for pre, we're gonna start off with this tune that I personally like. It's just it, it it's nice and it's pretty good for you too. It kind of helps your voice grow. It helps your voice hit correct notes. So it's gonna start off from low and then we're gonna go high. And like I said, when you're going low, you think high, and when you're going high. Beep, 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 beep,
with more clarity. There's more clarity in the pronunciation. And these help with that. Um, it just kind of like grounds the vocal, gives it a tone kind of feeling. And also your um, the lyrics that you're going to say will have more clarity to the audience that you're going to sing for. So for this, it's going to be a nice, um, the O's usually sound very angelic. And I, my favorite kind of the O's. Um, they're also very good, as I said, for um, oh, and they also, when you do O over here, it's kind of where you want to deliver all the power in your stomach to your voice when you do O, because in this kind of, this exercise and this specific word, um, this letter, it, when you do O, because you're making more space, so you're either going to have to go very low or very high, you kind of use this letter for extremely big notes, like high notes in the keyboard or very low notes in the keyboard. top from, from the lowest to the uh, highest daily this is very good these are important and also breathing exercise um, before we wrap up I just want to show you the breathing exercise which is very important so the breathing exercise that you are going to get is you want to inhale so it's going to be like this um, this gives you more air um, it also helps you with taking the notes longer it clears your throat these are this is the exercise also the free breathing breathing exercise is very important and the second one that I want to say I can't really do this but you lie down okay so say my hand is a person so you're gonna lie down and you're gonna have a book on your um, on your uh, tummy 
and you're gonna push your so when you do when you take your breath in when you inhale your stomach you're gonna push it as up as as like high as you possibly can you need to have you might you want to have someone with you when you do this you want to see the person um say a specific hand reaches here say here okay you want the book that's in your tummy to reach that hand and gradually it should grow and then when you exhale you want your tummy you want the book to go as low as possible that is very important if you do this exercise um like even just for like five minutes and you can uh increase the time more by uh, like day by day that's going to be great and that's all i have to tell you today and i guys hope you, i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time